Hello everyone. In today's video lecture, we shall be studying regarding the classification of animals based on the type of excretory product that they are produced. Okay. So now, based on the uh, type of excretory product, all the animals have been grouped into three important groups. In fact, there are five groups, but majorly we classify them into three important groups. A monotelism, ureotelic animals, and uripotelic animals. Okay. So in today's lecture, we shall try to understand what type of animals have what type of nitrogenous waste product. If they have a specific type of waste product, what is the basis? Why did they select that type of nitrogenous waste product for the excretion? Okay. So let us get uh, started. Now, now, before going to the animals that have been grouped based on the type of nitrogenous waste product that they are produced, let us understand what you mean by excretion. Friends, all of us know that we all have food and food has different nutritional components such as the carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, vitamins, etc. and minerals and all are present. All this gets digested and it is absorbed into the blood and then there is metabolism of these food components. Now, one of the food important component is the protein. Now, protein is broken down into amino acids and the amino acids are utilized in the body for different metabolic, uh, in fact, anabolic purposes. Now, during metabolism of such proteins and amino acids, there are waste products, nitrogen-based waste products that are produced from the blood. Now, this nitrogen-based waste product usually produced is the amine. Ammonia, right? So this ammonia is formed from the amino acid. In fact, it is released in the form of a amine group. It is released in the form of a amine group, and uh, this amine group will get converted into ammonium. And this ammonium, which is present in the blood, will be very toxic to the body. Now the intention of the intention behind the process of excretion is to remove this ammonia from the body. Understood? Now, let us come back to the definition of excretion. Excretion is a process of elimination of nitrogenous waste products that are produced as a result of protein metabolism. Okay. So, not only that, there are also other important components which do contain proteins. They are called nucleic acids. So the metabolism of proteins or amino acids and nucleic acids produce nitrogenous waste products. And these nitrogenous waste products, if they are present in the blood, they may cause damage to the different tissues and cells. So because of that, they have to be eliminated out. Okay. Now, now in order to form these nitrogenous waste products, the amino acids are broken down and the amine group is removed from the amino acids. This removal of amine group from the amino acid, we call it as the deamination. Okay, got it? Let us move on to the next slide. Now, so let us see the core intention of this uh, video lecture is to make you understand how the animals are being classified into different groups. I told you, friends, there are mainly uh, three important groups like amonotelism, ureotelism, and uricotelism. And there are also few animals which do show uh, a minotelism and guanotelism. In this the mind group as such it is excreted out and here in journalism the excretory product form is one well, very few animals show such kind of excretion but majorly these three categories we shall discuss 
Okay, so the, in the ammonotidism, the excretory product that is produced is the, you can see the ammonia. Okay, now what is the type of excretory product produced in ammonotidism? The animals which produce ammonia as the excretory product, nitrogenous waste product, they are known as ammonotelic animals and that process is known as the ammonotelism. Okay, so ammonia, when it comes to ammonia, it is a highly toxic uh, chemical and is highly soluble in water. So this is a very important uh, basis why the animals which live in aquatic medium water, they're always they live in water. Such animals prefer to use the um, ammonia as the excretory product. The reason for that is uh, ammonia is highly soluble in water. As soon as it is produced in the body, it can be easily eliminated out. Friends, I have uh, listed how your uh, animals of uh, different invertebrates and vertebrates so that uh, excrete ammonia as the excretory product. So you can just go through them. You can see uh, protozoan sponges, collinterates, helminths, which are the animals that uh, excrete ammonia as the excretory product. You can uh, go through. Let us move on to the next slide. Now, the next group of animals are ureotelic animals. Now, here the nitrogenous waste product produced is the urea. Okay. Now, there are many animals that excrete urea as the excretory product. Now, let us see uh, which are those animals. Now, these are the invertebrates that excrete uh, urea and there are some multiprates which do excrete urea like frogs, toads, uh, which um, show up semi-aquatic life. And not only that, very importantly, even humans excrete urea as the nitrogenous waste product. Now, and the, when I was uh, introducing the topic, I just told you, there is some uh, physiological or uh, the uh, basis, scientific basis for having a specific uh, nitrogenous waste product. Now, one that in uh, monotelism we have seen availability of X water around uh, made those animals to prefer ammonia as the excretory product. But some terrestrial animals which do not, which may not have always water around them, which do face the problem of dehydration such animals need to conserve water they cannot be wasting a lot of water they cannot afford to uh, use a lot of water for the excretion and such animals they preferred urea because basically urea is less toxic and less soluble compared to ammonia okay so it is less toxic and less soluble compared to ammonia because of that uh, the animals they have prefer preferred uh, you producing urea as the excretory product. Understood? Now, there is a special uh, case in case of sharks with respect to the osmoregulatory mechanisms. So, that also we shall be discussing later on uh, while understanding the paper, this physiology paper. Now, uh, sharks, they live in uh, oceans where there is a hypotonic solution around them. They need to uh, maintain the osmotic uh, pressure of the body, their own body, equal to the surrounding medium, or in fact, they need to maintain the osmotic pressure more than the surrounding medium. Now, for that reason, sharks, they produce urea and they retain urea in the body. You can see they retain, see, large quantities of urea has been retained in the blood to maintain the osmotic pressure equal or more than that of the seawater that minimizes the water loss from their body. Otherwise, what happens? Uh, because the hypotonic solution is around the shark, the body fluids may be lost yeah. from the Understood? So, for that reason, sharks produce urea and it will be stored in the blood to maintain the osmotic pressure. Okay? So, that is a special 
case where urea is being used, used up to uh, maintain the osmotic dietary balance in the body. Okay, so let us move on. The next group of animals are the uricophilic animals. They produce uric acid as the nitrogenous base product. Okay. Now, where do we see what kind of animals produce uric acid? So, before saying that, you can look at the third point where I have highlighted uric acid is non toxic compared to urea and ammonia. And also very important in uric acid is insoluble in water. Now, what is the advantage of this, sir? The advantage, there are two important advantages. One thing is animals need not spend water for excretion or spend. Second thing is because it is non-toxic compared to urea and ammonia, it can be retained in the body for a while. Okay. So then if that is the basis. The animals which have to conserve a lot of water, which have which cannot afford to waste even a single drop of water for the reason of excretion, such animals do prefer uric acid as the um, uric acid as the excretory product of the nitrogenous waste product. Right. So let us move on. Uh, because uh, they are not using water for the excretory purpose, excretion of uric acid, usually the uric acid is formed in the form of uh, crystals. Okay, so these crystals are removed out from the body. So there are so many animals which do use um, the uric acid as the excretory product, like insects, crustaceans, land snails land reptiles like lizards, snakes, birds, etc. They excrete uric acid. Not only that, even when it comes to the primates, there are some primates, in fact, the man also produce certain amount of uh, uric acid. So majorly, uh, usually what if it's higher animals and all, they use urea as the excretory product. But um, they do produce some amount of uric acid when there is breakdown of another nitrogen containing nutrient components known as the nucleic acids okay now in this table i have tried to uh, compare the different types of uh, animals their excretory products and their solubility nature and the animals that uh, produce them so please go through the uh, table and you can see here in this table i have listed out what is the uh, type of excretory uh, mechanism or excretory structure that is present in uh, different animals it is important friends try to uh, remember this uh, it has been asked in the board examination and also uh, many competitive examination to ask questions based on this and in vertebrates, if you see, uh, there are different types of excretory structures and their functions. So it, uh, they will be useful for answering many questions that you face in the examinations. Like you can see our uh, kidneys, lungs, livers, salt glands, importantly, uh, they are found in reptiles, like especially uh, you might be seeing the crocodiles. Uh, the, they, we use uh, the, we say people who are not genuine don't uh, uh, produce crocodile tears like so crocodiles uh, refuse tears to maintain the osmoregulatory balance and it is also a method of excretion um, and in some cases even the skin acts as a excretory structure helps to remove a lot of water and so on like this there are different excretory structures that are present and remember this point uh, the ureotelic animals, uh, urea is not formed in the kidneys. Many of us get confused and think that the urea uh, nitrogen space product is being produced in the uh, lung, uh, sorry, kidneys, but it is produced in the liver. So from the liver, it enters into the blood, but it is filtered in the kidneys and removed through urine. Okay, so that has to be removed. Okay, so. So that's it. This is the first uh, chapter that we 
plan and their excretory physiology. We have seen the animals have been categorized into five groups, amonotelic, ureotelic, uricotelic, monotelic, and aminotelic. And please, please try to remember what are they and what is the basis? Why did they select a, a specific nitrogenous based product? And also uh, remember the examples, minimum four examples you have to uh, remember, okay? Thank you all. Please try to attend the MCQs that have been uh, listed out. And for any queries, you can post. Then, you, know, you can ask your teachers at those places.